If you want to buy cheap FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, go and check out MMOPO.com and use the discount code EGHD for 8% off your order. Yes guys, welcome back to a brand new video another Squad Builder. Today we're going to be building the best possible team for around about 50,000 coins. And that is on Xbox or PlayStation. Um, slightly more on PC, about 60,000 coins, but a very cheap team indeed. I think this is going to be the cheapest team that we build a best possible squad for. As always guys, make sure you drop a comment below with the budget you'd like me to cover in the future. We've covered 500,000 coins, we've covered 200 and 250,000 coins, 100,000 coins, and today is the cheapest at 50,000 coins. So without further ado let's get into this as always guys we're going to put the key players in the ones that i actually built the squad around knowing that they're very good for their rating this guy is just an absolute tank like he's just a go-to player if you have a look at his in-game stats 94 stamina good strength good aggression his defending stats 8 to 9 interceptions 88 defensive awareness and an 88 standing tackle low head and accuracy and low jumping i just think that he's made for the meta of fifa 20 because you really don't need to jump you don't need to have good heading accuracy and that's why his stats look a little bit lower on his card is because the stats that aren't important bring down that overall. Again, when it comes to passing, 80 vision, 86 short passing, that's good enough. Low free kick accuracy, low crossing, low curve. You don't really need that for a CDM. His agility, balance and everything is pretty good. He's got four star skills as well and also three star weak foot. One thing I would say about Allen though is if you do get hit on a counter attack, his top speed isn't going to be great. So that's why I've put a shadow on him to give him the most amount of pace boost as possible. And obviously to link with Allen, we have gone for another 85 rated player from Napoli. A great team this year to build hybrids because they also have Mertens and Signe and that's going to be Manolas 82 pace 86 defending 81 physical stats some great stats for a center back but that's it you cannot do anything else with him he's got bad passing um, I've learned that from playing on the road to glory um, trying to make some weak footed passes it cost me some goals, so make sure you use this guy um, and just pass, it, pass the ball off straight away. He's also got one of the lowest shooting stats in this game at 25. I mean, that is shocking. I think I must have better shooting than this guy. Now, another player that we do want to put in this squad is going to be Dembele. I'm not going to put him in the squad yet because you won't be able to see him because of my webcam, but this guy is an absolute animal. Everybody knows about him. Um, I think pretty much everybody on this game has used him. He's got uh, insane stats, five-star skills, five-star weak foot, great pace. Um, he does lack a few things like you know low reactions fairly low finishing stats low stamina that's a big one especially if you play him cam which i do in a cheap squad like this but what i like to use on him is a dead eye to increase his attacking position his finishing his shot power because he he creates a lot of space with the five star skills i would love to see some kind of like special version of this card i know we've got a live card for him but it's so expensive i'd like to see like one in the middle that goes for like two or three hundred thousand coins because we're going to put him in there and obviously that means that we need a french player to link the two and that player is going to be Sissoko, another player, again, that we all know is fantastic. Only 81 rated overall, but he has 91 stamina, 90 strength, and 85 aggression. So he's basically like a very cheap Patrick Vieira. His agility and balance is very low as well, so he is like a, a bit of a, you know, a fridge at times. Let's just call it that. But at the same time... That's all you need him for. You just need him to be that first, well, second line of defense, basically. He is basically there just to sit in front of the center backs and protect your defensive line. Now, to link with Sissoko, we have gone for a Spurs player. Not only to link with Sissoko, but also Allen as well. Another fantastic player that pretty much goes for the, the going rate for an 83-rated player. Again, I like to use a dead eye on him. He's got a lot of pace, 95 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, great agility and balance. And also, you know, his stats are just all around very nice. I'd say, again, his weaknesses are his stamina and also his attacking position and finishing shot power is quite low. That's why I like to use a dead eye because it's the one that gives the biggest boost to the shooting and the passing stats. Now the striker for this team can be a, a mixture of different players but what I recommend to do is go for Rashford. Um, I hadn't used Rashford in this game until like January periods and obviously he's a very cheap player. A lot of people use him at the start of the game and I wish I did because he's so effective. His stats are quite deceiving but his dribbling is a lot better than you expect. I do use him with a sniper so we do get a, a boost to his agility back balance, uh, dribbling and all of those stats as well. Great stamina because he's quite young. He keeps going. His 75 strength with that speed and agility, balance and everything is great. He does have high shot power so that's why the sniper chem style is best to just boost his finishing and his attacking position and everything else. Now let's sort out the defense for this squad. We're going to go for a goalkeeper that is going to be Ariola, 82 rated. Again, um, one of these players that is very good and for the performance that you get out of him for the rating and the cost. Only 82 rated but he plays like an, you know, an 86 or an 86. Like he's just very good for his rating. You could go for a number of different players to link with him. Any French La Liga player. Uh, but what we're going to do is go for the pretty much the cheapest, and that is going to also link with Alan as well. And that is Eder Militao, 81 rated, 
great pace, very high stamina. So even though he doesn't have the highest strength because he has high stamina, his strength doesn't deteriorate throughout the game. And he's just one of those meta players that really suits FIFA 20. And if you've used this live uh, card that is 86 rated, you'll understand he's one of the best centre backs in the game still. And to link with him, as a left back, we have got Mendy as well with that Real Madrid link. Again, we've used him in a lot of these best possible squad builders, so I don't really need to talk about him too much. Just got all the meta stats, five-star weak foot two, four-star skills. You could play him actually at right back if you needed to play him off chemistry or something. He's that good. And that leads us to the left mid position. Now, all you need is a Premier League player that is either French or you could go for a Premier League player that is Brazilian to get full chemistry because Mendy is already on full chemistry. Now, what I've done is I have gone for Philippe Anderson because I've been using his storyline card quite a lot and I think that his card's very good as well. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot, 89 acceleration, 89 agility, 90 dribbling. Very good stats all round, really, for the position that he's going to play, which is probably going to be a lamb or a left wing kind of position. Another player that I do recommend guys is Martial. He goes for about the same amount of coins. I think he's 83 rated. Martial only has 3 star weak foot though which is his letdown whereas Anderson is 4 star, 4 star and I'm just very used to Anderson so we've gone for Anderson there. Now for the right back guys as you can see we do have an issue. We need to get Manolas on full chemistry. We need a strong link and obviously there's not many Greek players in this game that are going to get a strong link so I think if you haven't already worked it out you will work it out now. It is going to be Malquit or Malcute, I don't know how you say his name, but he's going to link as well to Dembele to get him on full chemistry. Now, he is the lowest rated player in the squad. He is the worst player in the squad, but by no means is he awful. He's got the pace. He's got some defending stats. He's, he's a lot better than what his card looks like. And for the sake of 50,000 coins for this whole squad, then this team is just amazing. I, I guarantee we're going to play some games now. I guarantee we're going to make some of these teams with like Messi, Neymar, Mbappe. All these players look silly because we've got the best meta players that you can afford for about 50,000 coins. Now, guys, for the custom tactics again we have gone for 4231 as my main starting formation 442 for something a little bit more attacking if I'm not having much luck in the attack and then 4312 for my all-out formation if you want to see these custom tactics and exactly how to set it up uh, what I recommend doing is going and checking out a video on my channel called the best formation and custom tactics so I upload it about a week or two before this video and um, yeah it explains everything in detail if you want to go, go and watch that but for the 4231 we are using Rashford as striker Dembele as a cam even though it's got bad stamina pretty much all these players have bad stamina I prefer to have my five star skills in the middle um, so that I can create space better and I like to use Malukas on the right side and Philippe Anderson they're both four star weak foot both right footed so it doesn't matter which one you choose again for 4-4-2 I've gone for Rashford on the left side being a right footed player with three star weak foot it means I can go for a finesse shot to the right side across the keeper or go for a near post shot then Bele obviously five star five star doesn't matter but we've kept Lucas and also Philippe Anderson in the same position and Alan is also on balance attack in this as well so he gets forward a little bit now 4-3-1-2 again we've got Rashford Dembele as strikers Lucas Moura as my cam and Philippe Anderson as my left centre mid he has actually some pretty decent defending stats for an attacker um, but usually by this point it's the 70th 80th minute and I'll be subbing on players that are you know got fresh legs and someone that might be attacking with a little bit more defending stats it depends which players you have in your club obviously Sissoko is on like a stay back whilst attacking whereas Alan and Felipe both balance getting forward and also my left backs and right backs get forward working into that space because it's quite a narrow formation but with them pushing up forwards it uh, helps you in your attack a lot more right guys so let's put some players on and then get into some games so first game you know what this isn't too bad we've got SCN to go up against Hazard we've got uh, Mendy and Dembele which is in our squad as well Benatau look at his legs he's got the longest legs in the game I'll tell you mate you're not going to get past Mendy by just running he's got too much strength and pace over the top, let's see what your passing is like. Not bad, considering he's the lowest rated on the squad. That's the passing I'm talking about. That was very risky with Manolas. You should not be doing that. Oh, look at that. Dembele, lovely position in. Drag it back for Lucas. Bang, what a save from Stegen. Yeah, look at that. Look at that beautiful play. He's not got a lot of stamina left. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Back inside. Oh, I got unlucky. That's the thing with Dembele, man. It's his stamina. Yep. And back back in. I knew he was going to block that. I knew it. Surely not. How have you defended that? Yes. Rashford near post. Mate, this guy's been saved by his players. I can't believe it. That guy managed to get away the whole game without me scoring a goal. That's basically FIFA 20 in a nutshell. But we should have scored at least three. At least all right, we're playing against SCN again. We've got Dan James in form Jesus. You know what? We've actually come up against some pretty average-looking teams. 
No, 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 no. I can't believe it. That's what I do on my free kicks. He's copied me. Now, nah, to be fair, that was nice. It was almost undefendable, really. Yep, go near post. What a play. Lovely skill move there. Gave me so much time to shoot that near post. No, not Gerard again. No, don't let him to... Oh, mate, he's just done me twice. Oh, my God. That was a play. How was he caught up? He was running the other direction. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> the same skill move. Different position, but that completely threw him out. Lucas coming up trumps in his team, though. Oh, no. He tried to do it back. I read him, though. Kinda. Oh, that is just my my fault. That's a nice pass. Yeah, it's gonna be a goal. That was completely my fault. He's shushing me when I've not like done anything like pass around the back. That's this community is so dumb, honestly. He's using ninety player moments as IH as well. Let's go ultra attacking and see if he can handle it. Oh my god, you've literally opened it up for him. What a save, Ariola. That is big. Lucky again. So unlucky. This team's fitness is really bad when it comes to endgame. Daz, he's played it onside. No. Malas. Oh, my God. Another 2-2. Two -two. So, there we go, guys. Um, we played two games, two draws, which we were winning. We definitely were the better opponents. We deserve to win those games. But you got to see how the team played. And, obviously, defensively, we were pretty sound. The, the goals that we conceded were my fault. I, I'll hold my hands up. They were my fault. I was doing the wrong things, which created the actual goal. But, as I said at the start of the video, it's cost about 50,000 coins, maybe 60,000 coins if you're on the PC platform. But, it's so cheap. You can use this team as, like, a fitness team if you need to play some rivals or you need to play some weekend league. But, you want to sell as much of your players as possible to get as many of your coins liquid so that you don't lose much during these market crashes because the markets are crashing so much recently you've got players like Mbappe going like hundreds of thousands of coins down the drain Neymar, Messi, all of these big players are losing so much Van Dijk as well so there's no point having a really big team here is a great example of a fitness squad and if you enjoyed this video if you want to see more of these best possible squads please remember to drop a like on the video before you leave and also make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see more of these videos in your sub box and your homepage and all that stuff and if you want to see also more of me playing with the cheaper teams and the cheaper players in the game then I recommend watching my road to glory which I'm doing on a second channel um, the link to my second channel will be in the description as well or you can search for it it's Ezekiel F-U-T at the end um, so Ezekiel foot and we're doing a road to glory on that channel which has been going down pretty well so far so thank you guys for watching um, I will catch you guys later bye bye